Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to some more Let's Play Banished. We're back in Quillville, and, well, our, our population has had a little bit of a hard time, because, of course, mm, half of us, I suppose, have died from starvation, but I think things are going to start looking up. Well, I say that as, you know, winter is about to set in. We still have no food whatsoever in our storage barn, and half our houses don't have much in the way of food. Hell, Odeli here is a five-year-old child who I think has been orphaned. Um, she's got some food kicking in there, so hopefully she can survive through the winter. Um... And uh, yeah, so the problem is we built, you know, as I explained in the last video, too many houses too quickly and uh, you get more sort of efficiency early on in terms of food if there's uh, just fewer houses, fewer households and people can sort of share food amongst themselves, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, as soon as, there we go, the, the, uh, the dock, the fishing dock goes away, I'm going to pull off all my builders and assign fishermen. In fact, I'm even going to pull off farmers because it's winter and they're not doing farming. They're just sort of doing sort of laborer type of duties, which I do want. We do need some more wood to be collected, some more logs because we don't have a whole lot there and it's got to be converted into more firewood so that we don't freeze to death throughout the winter but um, so we'll leave those three farmers there to basically act as laborers for now that's fine but that way we've got maximum hunters maximum fishermen and hopefully we can get some food production going on now if I recall correctly we can't even build a road through here I could actually build a tunnel if I really want to minimize this walk I'm actually kind of tempted to do so I do believe it's going to use some resources and I suppose we don't have any builders going on right now needs four stone per le unit length now we can't we can't invest in that people can just walk over the hill and that'll be fine i suppose what i can do and again i don't have builders so that's not ever going to get finished and as i say i could take this road uh at least and sort of extend it um as far as it can in the name of efficiency there so they can at least sort of connect over there and oh, i got this stupid little extra bit of road too that i would like to get rid of because it's kind of annoying me that things are not um not quite level, although, oh, that was just, just terribly built all over. Uh, let me go and put the road down. Again, we don't have any builders. And I realized in hindsight when I was having a problem earlier where the houses weren't being built in part one, I think it's because all the builders were busy actually building roads as opposed to, uh, to the building. So don't overbuild houses, don't overbuild roads, or your people are going to be busy and not doing things in exactly the right order. It's quite cold, minus six or minus eight Celsius right now, which uh, is quite a ways below freezing and snowing as well so people are gonna have a rough time hopefully we've got enough firewood um oh yeah we've actually got a pretty good supply stockpiled so and people will have some in their homes as well so we're gonna be okay how's little odeli doing there she's used up half her venison already it is midwinter i think she will see it to spring which is good but spring is not magically going to bring us more food because uh we still have to wait for a few a full crop rotation but it looks like these guys are carrying that gathering food so these fishermen are bringing food to our stockpile not a whole lot and it's getting picked up right away but at least there's technically a little bit of food there so how much have they produced so far 88 units it's not bad but it's not it's not enough what about our hunting cabin I mean, quite a bit more actually oh look at that 680 venison this season oh they were really efficient i didn't realize that Ooh, Shamiko over here, 16-year-old female hunter, is currently starving. Obviously not a very good hunter if she's starving. Uh, <laughs> what a mean thing to say. Uh, we're still in winter. God, I'm, I was hoping that it would be late winter already. There we go, late winter has kicked in. Come on, Shamiko, don't starve to death. We do need all the adults we can possibly get. We've got a few more children, so we've got potentially 18 people that could be productive relatively soon. So we can get any more food. Looks like some keeps getting delivered there. Uh, no, the food count is not going up, so I actually don't know what's being delivered. Uh, oh, it might be some trees or something like that. I actually don't know if there's like a better, smarter way to place the hunting cabins, because I, I find that their productivity is really, really hit and miss. And maybe I shouldn't have gone hunting right away. Maybe I should have built a gathering camp instead. Uh, and I suppose I could do it. I could turn off the hunting and simply move to gathering. Well, maybe we've got some animals there. I wonder if you can actually see anyone do the hunting. Hmm. Maybe? Oh, you see, and there's what I'm talking about. Little, little wild onions over there. Something else. Oh, some of these might be herb plants that you would use for, uh, like, medicines and things, too. So, a uh, little bit of food storage. They still haven't collected it there. Now, it doesn't mean that Shimiko is starving yet. She's going to get something to eat right now. I, I mean, at first they try to go to their house. Yeah, she, they don't, she doesn't have the little starving icon. So normally they would go to their house first. Here she will try to go somewhere else, like the, uh, the barn, to grab it. Oh, someone else just took the food. And that's the problem. Like, with too many houses, the food gets distributed unevenly. It's kind of whoever gets there first. And I can't say that the game is sort of unrealistic in this particular regard. Uh, this symbol here means we are 
we've reached our fuel limit. We have 200 plus firewood stored. So the woodcutter is now going to go and just be a normal laborer for a little bit and get that done until there's more of a demand for for firewood, which is, which is a mechanic I really like quite a bit. It'd be nice if you could like somehow prioritize people in terms of when to get stuff to eat. This person's hungry, so they're like desperately looking for food. Poor Shimiko. She's working as a hunter, but she's not really being an active hunter in any way. Uh, it is spring though, so it means I actually got to get my farmers up and running once again. But the problem is, where do I take them from? Because um, these other food, I, I don't think I take them from anywhere. I think I only leave myself with three hunters um, or three farmers. And the farming is more efficient. I need the constant food supply now. I can't sacrifice it. Actually, since we're full on food, rather than having the woodcutter go to be a laborer, I'm going to go ahead and move them over to being a farmer. So literally everyone, so I've got 11 people, 11 adults, and every single one of them is involved in the food industry, and that's what I think has to happen right now. Oh, good God. Shimiko, go and get your food before someone else snags it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry. Oh, someone just grabbed the food. Son of a bitch. They, they should be able to go to their neighbor and... Oh, Shimiko has died. This is crap. They should be able to go to their neighbor's house and ask for food there, actually. Which might lead to other problems, but neighbors, if they, they're above a certain point, should be able to, like, help each other. Yeah, so we've lot, we're down a hunter, which I suppose we'll have to accept. I don't know how much... Uh, honestly, though, the hunting what did generate a lot of food. Maybe I should actually prioritize the hunting over fishing. Maybe fishing's actually really poor. Hmm. I don't know. I'll leave them as is. I'll give them another full season and see exactly how much we can get out of fishing on a lake. And I don't know if, like, the more water you have in the radius helps or not. I haven't really been able to get more water coverage than this in any kind of placement. I mean, maybe, it, like, if I could place it right here, there might technically be slightly more water coverage. I don't know. It's a shame that we lost Shimiko, though, because we are low on adults. Some of the other children might come of age soon. Oh, God, we've got some more hungry this places. Oh, Odeli, no! Oh, God. I might just, like, lose my entire thing right over here. Okay, we haven't had any more death, and oh, they've brought some food in. Thank you very much. Nope. I thought. She doesn't have any food in storage, though. I don't know why it's not showing the hunger symbol over there. Some more people, come on. Bring in some more food. Come on, guys. It's just barely trickling in. I don't want to do another early harvest in the cabbage. I want to have a full harvest. Um, because we actually have to get ahead of the game here, in terms of uh, food yields. Oh, we're actually going to get some plums this time, though. I suppose I could do a, a quick harvest on one of them. Need food, need food. We've got a little bit stored up, so they've just got to go and pick it up. I, I might do that. Early summer. I'm very tempted to do an early harvest in one of them, especially since it would then free them up to work on the other place. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to harvest our plums early. And then we'll try to go for a full yield on the cabbage, which should be enough. We don't have a huge population anymore, for some reason. I don't know what happened to them. <laughs> Weren't we almost at like 30 at some point? I think we were. We grew quite quickly, it felt like. Alright, harvest those plums. Are there... I did tell them to harvest it, but I'm not actually seeing it happen. I'm not... People might be too busy. I could pull them off the fisherman duty temporarily. There we go, I think. Oh, there we go. Now they're starting to get paid. I think the farmers are just busy as well. Nine seventy four. There, someone just grabbed a ton. And that's the thing, they like grab... I, I don't know what the maximum character capacity is. I know for some goods it's like 50. For food, I think they might be able to grab them in chunks of 100 or something. So they will grab 100 at a time, or whatever the amount is, and bring them there. And it would be nice actually if they, they made more trips, but grabbed smaller chunks every time. It would help maybe distribute it a little bit more. Um, again, that's just, you know, that, that may just be something you have to deal with. Um, as part of kind of a game design thing, it's like, okay, this is the reality thing, so you you build around that idea that people, these people are incredibly greedy, incredibly selfish. We're gonna need blacksmiths soon, I don't have one yet, do I? Fair amount of iron stored up, but we're gonna, oh, we're actually out of stored tools, which is really, really ungood. Double plus ungood. Uh, because now people will just start to build more and more slowly. And we need more, slightly more efficiency, actually. Oh, right, and we don't have any builders. Hmm. Uh, food is bad. I don't feel like the fishing is really... It's not that much fish. I mean, even with a reduced hunting count, we still are producing almost as much venison this season as we are fishing. 
Hmm. And we're gonna need some more firewood soon. We don't use very much of it in the summer, of course. I think there may be a little bit used still for cooking, and of course on the cooler days. It's 23 right now. This is what, like uh, 75, 80 degrees Fahrenheit kind of day? Kind of a warmish day. 22, so yeah, we're not gonna go through quite as much, but it's still not great. We need more people to become adults, actually. All right, I'm gonna leave what farmers are there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut back on the fishing throw in a couple of builders so we can get our smithy up and running because yeah we're gonna need some tools we don't want people to start running like working like crap they're already pretty bad of course they're gonna be somewhat occupied fixing this road which is like I only put it there for cosmetic reasons it was bugging me from a visual sense and it's gonna take away from the efficiency of my town which is gonna be awful there's a little bit more food sitting in there again it was quickly scooped up oh Plum yield. Oh, it might build up the yield like year by year or something like that. Maybe grabbing that was really bad. But we're gonna get an almost full harvest of cabbage. And that's gonna be huge. It's gonna be like 800 plus cabbage. And that'll make us go through the winter. Our health is going low. Well, of course, my people aren't being fed very well, so that shouldn't be a complete surprise, should it? Deer, farm, fishermen rather, the hunting. Yeah, if we get some more adults going, it's gonna be fantastic. Early autumn temperatures start to drop, so our firewood supply is going to start getting uh, cut into pretty soon. We'll have to assign another woodcutter, but maybe we can hold off. And there we go. Someone first uh, citizens are starting to uh, run out of tools. Their tools are broken, and there was no replacement ready to go. So that is definitely going to be an issue, especially as they try to harvest all this before uh, the winter settles in. It looks like they're I know they're hose or rakes or something, which have all shattered really not good but we're still gonna get a fair amount of food and we got a decent number of uh, farmers assigned well, I guess they're splitting half and half as well. hmm oh and they have to cut down these trees before they can put down the smithy that is another part of the problem firewood yeah it's getting eaten into oh, we have a free labor oh good someone became an adult fantastic and we got a new baby good Odeli who survived that winter thank God is now another adult Oh, this is exactly what we needed. We're going to assign another hunter. Because we're still... The food's still going to be kind of tight. Just waiting for the construction to finish still. And then, actually, we'll have to assign someone over here. I don't know who it's going to be, though. And we're still ages away from being able to trade because the river is so far away. Not that we're really in a position to trade things. You need a surplus of something before you can trade. Oh, my God, we got an early snow. It's going to kill our, our fields. Look, 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 it's killing the plants. No, 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 no. Um, fishermen, stop. We need, like, extra farmers ASAP. Oh, they're never going to get there in time to save our, uh, our cabbage. Oh, I should have assigned more people. I should actually, like, remove the people assigned from the orchard. Mm, it's all too late now. All too late now. Damn it. All right, well, I'm going to take us down to, like, couple of farmers which will really be laborers in practice um, bring us up on our fishermen and then as soon as the builders are done one of them is going to become the smith damn well we've got some surplus food I don't know how much people have in their huts though oh fair amount of cabbage and plums so they're getting some food variety oh Odeli's doing great here oh this is Lavares oh, Odeli must have moved in with someone who did you who'd you move in with who'd you marry Odeli and Milber! My two single people. So yeah, Odeli, they become an adult at 10. So again, the years don't work out exactly the same. And I mean, they age multiple years in an, an actual like calendar year. Because I think Odeli was born in this city. I'm not sure, but um, it's possible. So yeah, people mature quite quickly. And so it's all like kind of fuzzy numbers. It would be nice maybe if the, um, the developer like put in something that fuzzified the year slightly differently but yeah 10 they become adults and then I think I see them live sometimes into like 40s or 50s but it's pretty aggro pretty aggressive the aging uh, that happens yeah you can see here Beth here is a hunter at 10 and so on and so forth and these guys will start popping out kids soon so they're not in human years I like to think of this almost like the Game of Thrones world where like winter has come but it's actually like multiple years between winters so you know, if it makes you feel better We'll say that uh, a year in this world is like a thousand days. It explains why people eat so much too, because it's kind of ridiculous how much they need in terms of food. Like, 
thousands of potatoes per person per year is required to maintain them. Or some nutty thing like that. Okay, seriously, like, I need this constructed. Do I not have any stone? I do have stone. I have builders. Oh, you're probably working on the stupid road, aren't you? Or some other inane nonsense. I don't know. I could oversupply the builders, but I should be okay. Uh, what can I do? I can click here and actually see what they're doing. Getting something to eat. Picking up resources. And they were just getting something to eat, so I think they're probably picking up resources. Oh, no. They're just acting like a lumberer for some reason. Why? Because they don't have tools? Well, if that's the case, we're just going to be screwed because we're never going to get out of that vicious cycle. Let's max out on builders and see what we might be able to do. Picking up resources, picking up resources. I mean, everyone still gets sort of like assigned laborer type of positions. There we go. Goods are being dropped here. So things are happening. They're just not happening quickly. And we need tools. Come on, guys. Running low on firewood. But no one's got any tools, so they're all working slowly anyway. You know, I'm actually going to stop the woodcutter here. And, oh, I'm going to do the thing I did before, where I cancel any sort of outstanding resource gathering jobs. And that road job. There we go. Just get it done. There we go. Things are being dropped off again. Wonderful. We should, yeah, we do have everything. We've got the iron, we've got, yeah, we're totally good. I think that's it. I think the laborers are supposed to carry things around. And the laborers were busy carrying other things. And the builders, because there wasn't, um... I think that's the way it works. The builders come and build things, but only if all the resources are in place. So now a builder will come here and do this. So up until then, they just act like laborers, and all they think is, like, pick up goods from point A, bring them to point B, but they weren't prioritizing the goods for the blacksmith itself. I had too many things queued up everywhere. It'd be nice if the builders did prioritize shipping goods here, or actually if anyone prioritized bringing goods to new buildings. It seems like a good idea. All right, and it's spring again. All right, we made it through another winter. No one is starving. No one's got any tools, but no one is starving. And what I'm going to do is max out my farmers. Even I'm going to sacrifice my uh, fishermen as well, just to have maximum farmers throughout. Then once the builders are done, I'll probably reassign them as fishermen at that point. Although we do technically need a couple of laborers. And no one froze to death either, despite the fact that we weren't cutting any more firewood. They had enough uh, reserve in their homes, which is good. There's none... Well, there's eight units here, which is why I'm going to put warnings at the... Uh, actual number of firewood is, is low, but oh my god, they build so slow without tools. Tool none. And then the first round of tools is actually going to take a long time to build because they're building it without tools. I mean, they're building a house and, like, hammering together iron with their, I don't know, bare hands or rocks or something like that. So everything is mega slow. The farming's going to be slow. We're having a rough time, guys. <laughs> I'm in a really rough time. Come on, guys, build, 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 build. Then every now and again, they've got to take a break, too. I suppose if I had assigned extra builders at this point, then there would be more consistent work, but we're almost there. Everyone's got tools, they're fishing with their bare hands. Everything's gonna suck. I mean, they're not even done planting the, uh, the cabbage here, so the odds of all the cabbage being finished growing before winter sets in is very bad. But at least we haven't lost anything, any more people. Our population is going up. We're actually back up to uh, to 22, which isn't bad. We've got some extra children, and of course, the adults coming in as well. Looks like we're still felling trees over here, which is fine. There we go. Builders, no more build. Become blacksmith. And actually, one of you guys can go back to uh, wood cutting as well, and that's fine. Blacksmith got enough iron to get the tools flowing once more. So we'll soon be okay. And hopefully we can get up to 200 firewood. Uh, by winter. Actually, we might not get to 200 firewood in here, but hopefully people will be able to pick up firewood for their homes before winter sets in. It's only like sp late spring, though. Looks like most of the farm plots are actually going to be planted. Again, maybe not in time to grow fully. It's a good thing I maxed out on the number of farmers, though. Holy cow. Because that was going to be very, very dangerous. How much food did you guys bring in last season? 520. Yeah, okay, the fishing does okay. That's despite the fact that I keep pulling people away from these things. They actually are a pretty good food resource. I think when I was looking at some of the numbers before, it may have been before they'd been established for a cool season, so... And my numbers were being skewed. There we go. Build those tools. And then we'll actually have everything we really need early on. We should have finally enough food established. We're going to have tools producing. We've got a good number of goods around. Uh, and once we get a few more people then we'll, we'll be in stronger shape. And we can support more people really, really soon. 
Actually, probably be a good idea to set, a, set up a second set of uh, cabbage farms. Another one somewhere. I don't know, maybe we can fit it in right over there. And then we'll really be laughing in terms of food, to the point where we can actually um, sell it. Assuming there's a demand for cabbage, I'm not sure. We may actually not be any money selling cabbage. Which is kind of annoying. Well, there's no money in the game, but you trade. It's kind of on a barter system. They value cabbage at maybe one one gold or one dollar or whatever you want to call it. And then they can sell us, um, you know, a cow. A cow is like 800. So if you give them 800 cabbages, you can get one cow. And uh, what we want is to get a pair. Now, selling things like tools, very valuable. Also clothing, which we are out of spare clothing. We should really do something about that. We've got a good amount of leather. We're low on workers, of course, is the real problem. But I think it might be a half decent idea if we could go ahead and set up a tailor. Set up right there. So it'll get built at some point. We actually don't have a builder assigned. And that's okay. Once winter comes, we'll pull uh, some people off farming and put them onto building. But until then, we, uh, we'll leave it be as is. And, uh, but yeah, get some more warm clothing. Because if we click on some of these people, uh, clothing is fair. Fair. I think some people will be, um, some people might have some shabby clothing. And certainly they get worn down over the, uh, over time, so they need warm coats. And actually, it's possible that they don't have warm coats on at all. And once they get one, like, I think we can make hide coats. And once we do, maybe it'll specify that. I'm not sure, actually. Do, 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 do. So, just waiting for another year to go by. I don't think I'm on max speed, am I? No, let's go up to speed 10. Let things go a little bit faster. It's amazing how uh, how much duller it seems when everything is, is fine. That sucks. But yeah, I was going to say, we're probably going to start uh, running out of food really, really soon. But we're pretty close to harvest time. I These guys are out of food, but they probably won't starve. Probably. Of course, our fishing and everything sucks because people still don't have tools. But actually, this one fisherman is the only person left who doesn't have a tool right now. So hopefully these guys will pick up some some noms. I keep seeing it sort of vaguely trickle in. Uh, I'm actually considering I could build a storage barn actually right here to minimize how much travel time people have to do to go back and forth. Might be a really good idea. A barn doesn't take up any... Like, I don't need to assign people to work there. Oh, there we go. The cabbage is coming in. Thank you very much. It's still early autumn. It's starting to collect it. Although, again, you can see the cabbage at the end here did not come out to... Uh, the maximum size, so we probably didn't get 100% yield. May or not have even broken 90, I'm not sure. But yeah, actually might be a really good idea to get... Uh... Oh no! Milber died! No, Milber! Oh no! That was fast! Hell, everyone else in this household might die too. I mean, it doesn't say that anyone's starving here yet, but... I don't know. Oh, and we don't have... We're out of wood. So, we definitely want to queue that up. And I'm only going to queue up wood. Um, I don't necessarily need... Oh, uh, we'll need some iron. So I, I'm, I'm avoiding the sort of bulk designation tool because I don't want to spend a bunch of time grabbing stuff that we don't necessarily need, like, immediately. Food reserve is still whining about being low. No, it's actually fine. There we go. Oh, Adele remarried. She married Croc. Oh, her co-worker. That's fine. Oh, she's 15 now. Like, that's the thing, they, they do age ridiculously fast. It might be counting the number of, like, seasons. They might age one every season, so going from spring to summer might age oh, you up by one year, for example. That is entirely possible. Okay, winter is set in, so farmers are not busy, so we can take that down and what- Oh yeah, I was gonna set up builders. And, actually not that many builders. And then max out the fishermen during the winter. I guess ice fishing? I don't think the water freezes over. You know what I'm going to do? For the sake of the video, it's very nice, but I'm actually going to turn off the uh, weather effects. Um, just because I find... There we go. I find it's a little hard to see what's going on. Uh, they're a little intense. I would like to actually just cut them back by 50%, and certainly in video format, I'm worried about um, it just making things a little bit unviewable, because you do lose quality in the video. So we'll do that. We get to still see the cool winter effects and everything. I just don't care about having the whiteout conditions. Reserve of logs is low. Reserves of firewood is low. Now, no one's complaining about being cold yet, which is good. But we definitely need to keep cutting the logs down. Now, deforest this whole area over here. And perhaps up here as well. And there. 
don't like trees. Death to trees. And so we're producing some tools again, which is good. Actually, we've got quite a few tools booked up. That's the thing, the tools require resources, but otherwise they get built very, very quickly, and they do sell for a decent amount of money. I wish this lake were connected. Oh, it's such a shame that it's not, because it would be a great place to put a little um, trade depot. A trade depot. Taylor's almost done. Winter is almost done. I guess I need extra labor. Go ahead and assign yourself to be a builder. Oh, there we go. And we'll assign one person to be a tailor. Start making some uh, hide coats using leather. If we had wool, which we need sheep for, of course, we can make wool coats and then finally leather plus wool together. Make warm coats. But we'll have to settle with some hide coats for now. It's rough, but hey, we're not here to win any sort of fashion war, right? There we go. And actually, our amount of food stored is going up. So everyone who's got a house clearly grabbed enough food to not have to make more runs here, which is really nice. Oh, lots of plums. There are plums coming in. We actually have no cabbage. I don't know if the uh, different um, goods actually have different amounts of uh, nutrition. And, you know, like, some of them are are better at providing nutrition than others. I'm going to go ahead and set up a second cabbage farm right behind here, actually, um, because it's going to be right next to the barn. And, oh, I can place it there. There's a little bit of a red area there. The hills and everything are mostly unbuildable, so um, let's go and create a little bit of a road there, and then what I'm going to do is bring it about like that. And, oh, they've got a couple, actually three trees apparently to remove. Oh, these little shrubs have to be removed. That's usually handled by laborers. Builders are still being assigned. Oh, and they're probably going to be mostly spending some time felling trees. We might not get this cabbage. Uh, planted this year, and that's okay if that happens. Oh, although, that makes me think that we want to cut back on the farmers, or not the farmers, we're going to cut back on the fishermen and the builders as well, and make sure to max out our farming count so we get as many crops in the ground as possible. It's still early spring, everyone's got a tool this time, hopefully things are getting planted nice and fast. Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to be much, much better. Some more children are being born. We're up to 16 adults again. Still good in homes. No one doesn't have a house. And at 10 homes, I think it's going to be plenty. I would actually probably not want to go over this count for some time. But it might help once we get our second field, second crop going. And maybe I should have set up two crops earlier. You know, I may not have needed the fishing, for example, depending on what order we did things. So many mushrooms here. Really could do a little gathering thing, give them extra food variety, but I just don't have the people right now. Later on, we'll build a little gathering hut and get those that early food, and it'll be it'll be great. Everything is planted, and then everyone's going to tend everything just to get to maximum growth. They just sit there and like I don't know. I guess they're weeding things, maybe something like that. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad. Still food stored. We're actually going to make it through. We might even make it to fall and still have food left over. Oh, finally crossed that, uh, I don't know, that hump. You cross a hump? I don't know. I think I'm mixing my examples here. Uh, so, I guess it starts to be the question of, like, what, what do we want to start building next? Hmm. Well, really, if we had extra people, it would just mean we'd be able to, like, harvest resources a little bit faster. And we're still not quite there. We can feed ourselves. We could potentially not go up to maximum uh, fishermen and hunters, and in the winter use all of our farmers to chop down things. Oh, we're at max firewood, which is nice. Now, firewood is actually something that sells acceptably well, too. Good God, that is so far away. You know what we're going to start doing? We're going to start building a road towards there. So, there's something even tunneling through it, but I think that's a waste. We're gonna build a bridge across that way. And then... Connect up this path and use the end of the bridge right here. Something like that. It's such a long road. Just oh, actually, being here is good enough. I'm being foolish. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and queue up the trade depot, uh, which is this one over here. There we go. Finally got plopped down. We'll get it started, or get it queued up anyway. We might have to build some stone roads out here, or just build a closer stockpile. Because that is a long, long hike. 
to bring any goods out there. I think it's going to have to be a stone road just for maximum speed. That means we're going to need a lot of stone. Oh, we're in, we're, that's right. We've been out of metal for some time, too. So, go ahead and collect anything that's over here, actually. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build out here, and I'm going to put a stockpile here. It's going to save a lot of transportation time. Obviously, the stockpile that's over here isn't going to be used for much, but it's still going to avoid a little bit of trouble. There we go. Set up another cabbage farm over here. Thank you very much. Do what you can. Look at that. It's not even late autumn, and we just finished picking all of our cabbage. We've got over 2,000 food in there. Now, you do go through food relatively quickly, so that's not a sign that we can do everything forever. Uh, we've got 16 of those hide coats made, which is good. And then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off the tailor for now. I'm feeling pretty good about the fact that we've got some extra stuff. And again, being idle, the tailor would have just turned into a, a laborer anyway, but now we can reassign him to something else. Um, like, get some more builders going on. Something like that. I like that quite a bit. We've now up to 18 adults. Fantastic. How's everything going on here? Odeli had another child. Alissi? Or no, Amandin is the new one. There we go. Her and Croc. There we are. I'm gonna be sad if ever she dies on us. Oh my god. Start to get attached to these people who are just like, just names. There's nothing else about their personality. It's not like Tropico, they don't have like political affiliations or anything. Well, thank God, because that means we don't have to murder them. Not that I would ever, you know, murder a political opponent in a video game. That That's just completely unethical. It would never happen. Oh, some people are cold. Do you not have a house? You're starving and freezing. Where the hell are you? Why are you there? Yeah, go home. Jeez. Get warm. Oh, were they children? Maybe they were children that were just out and about playing. Because I was going to say, I don't think I'd queued anything over there. And now, I'm curious. Uh, everyone just says they still have fair clothing. Although, some people are grabbing jackets. I suspect that uh, the new children didn't have clothing yet. So now they're grabbing that. And I think it allows them to not freeze to death quite as quickly outside. But uh, we, are a we are having a lot of people who are cold. No, where? Why are you over here? Oh, you're pathfinding all over the place because you're doing things on the other side, but we don't actually have the bridge complete. Well, could you focus on maybe finishing the bridge? How about how about we do that? Please? Oh my god, people are dying and starving. And it has everything to do with this. There we go. Build, just build the bridge. You've got all the resources in place. Someone went over there and gave it like one tap of a hammer and then ran away. At least they won't be freezing anymore. It's the spring. Well, I say that. Incredibly unhappy. Probably saw someone die. Oh my god. Oh my god. So much fail. I think they're walking like the long way around to work on the bridge from the other side some insane thing or or something to that effect yeah look 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 we're gonna, we're gonna lose more people all of our all of our builders I don't know like should I build another bridge in a different spot here I need people to not take a stupid path around nope that's what they're doing Look, these people. Okay, this is not good. Uh, pause this construction. Now, we're gonna build another bridge. And see if this one ends up being not stupid. Right, there we go. Build this bridge here. And try not to be dumb about it. Where are my builders? Oh my god. Okay, well, I had never... Yes, yeah, so they're walking until they get hungry. And then they run away. That's where they can cross. Take the long road all the way over here. And then... Oh, I'm hungry and I'm, I've turned around. Shoot. Actually, it might be all the road. Hold on. Let's. Oops, that's not what button I want to hit. I just realized it could be all the... Uh, the road building commands. It might not be the bridge. I'm 
hoping that I've canceled that properly. I'm worried that I haven't. Okay, well this one is not fixed anymore. Play this. The bridge might not be the problem. Oh, come on, guys. Try not to all, like, walk to your death and do something crazy. I haven't seen this on any other map before. I've built plenty of bridges. How many people have we lost? Alright, idling. Working. Oh, you're the blacksmith. Okay. Builder. Getting something to eat. Working. But you may have started this silly walk before, uh, before things got rearranged. It'll be fine as soon as I get one bridge. Son of a bitch, yeah, she's turning around. Who else do I have as a worker? Builder. No, they're still doing the long, the long, stupid path. Holy crap! Okay, it's nearly complete. Oh, someone's there. Someone's actually building it. Oh, from the correct side and everything. Thank God. Okay. All right, so we can pause this one too. We may as well give them a couple of different routes. Now it's not going to be a problem. We might actually get a couple more starvations as people continue to walk back here. And certainly people are unhappy and unhealthy. But now we've got the bridge, so it should be far, far less stupid. Oh, I guess they were trying to build the trading post, too. I forgot about that. Oh, man. So, okay. Note to self. Don't build things on the other side of the river until the bridge is done. Because sometimes the AI will prioritize things in a slightly wrong order. It's good to know. I really should make this a stone thing ASAP. Yeah, look, at, like, we had a lot of stuff queued on the other side. Well, I guess it's all the roads. Oh, and they're smashing down the bricks and things like that, right, because they're in the way of the roads, for example. That's all collected. We actually have a decent amount of stuff. We're full on tools, which is great, but you know what? I want 150 tools, because this is going to be the primary export that I'm going to do. Probably that and clothing, but we don't have quite enough leather. We don't have any workers assigned there. We do have extra laborers, though, so I think... Well, the food situation's pretty good. Oh, actually, I should be maxing out on farmers is what I should be doing. It's late summer. It might be a little too late for it, but we'll give it a try anyway. It's late summer. This is all they planted. Look at that. And a little bit more over here. Okay, that's true. But yeah, we're gonna... It, like, what's the point in building the extra crop field if we don't have the farmers? But we're kind of busy micromanaging, like, the stupid farmers. Or the stupid builders. You know what, we can afford to build slowly. Just go two builders and max out on farmers for whatever it's worth for the rest of the year, and then they can become laborers in the winter. We'll clear out some extra space there. We still need some goods chopped down, so they're going to have plenty to do. Food situation should be okay. Again, we had a pretty decent amount, I think, in families' reserves. Yeah, like that's that's all pretty good. And then there was a little bit left over, and now, yeah, we're going to be fine. It's going to be nothing compared to how things used to be. Relatively crap yield, but overall we're going to be okay. The fact that we lost people doing this stuff is actually the, the thing that hurts the most. Um, what I think I'm going to do, because I don't think I did that, is I'm going to set up a stockpile over here. Oh, right, because I set one here. But I want to set a stockpile right next to the road. Might be placed. Are there rocks? Oh, there's... Oh, leftover little road bits. That's what's going on. Set a stockpile here. And then put in a nice sort of uh, remove job right in here so we can kind of see what's going on. It might be a good place for buildings. Okay. Farmers, hopefully, are done farming, mostly. Oh, they do pick those little, tiny little cabbages that hardly count as anything. But it's good to know. Until the ones all die from the frost. That's all right. And a few more plums. We're actually really good on food. Health is poor. It might be a good idea, actually, for us to set down a, uh, a herbalist at this point. And I think I like that idea. I'm going to tone down the farmers. I'm going to go up to maximum builders. And yeah, I will do that, actually. So that's uh, over here, a little flower picker. And we'll set you right at the crossroads. So hopefully you can find some herbs. Right, I could start... Actually, I'm going to reassign my hunters. That's what I'm going to do. I don't need fishermen again yet, because we're good on food. But the hunters, in addition to providing some food and food diversity, we get more leather, which we want. Trading post, very slowly being built. Yeah, we're going to have to, um, well, we're out of stone, we're out of everything, actually. Good thing I designated this area. Uh, I'm going to have to make this all a big stone road so that people can get out there slightly faster because it is a hell of a journey. 
This is a really weird map. Definitely, if you play this, you won't have one that's quite as difficult. Although, at the same time, it leads to some kind of interesting decisions. And weird things happening. I guess it's good for a video. Alright, hunters go hunt. Yeah, uh, the, the help says that deer are afraid of civilization, but they're coming right next to my village. Not it's, the most, it's not the most developed village there is, but clearly they're not quite that chicken. So, I'm hoping that we're still going to get some good uh, production here. Oh, it's a new year, so yeah, we haven't produced anything yet. Oh, a little low on firewood, are we? Indeed we are. It's not good. Right, because we have no wood. Hmm. Because we do still have the wood cutter, yeah, which is important. And we still have plenty of tools done. That's right. I could actually cancel the blacksmith, though. Like, I want to build more for trade, but it doesn't mean I have to build it right this second. I could prioritize something else. Actually, what I'm going to do is turn down my work for my builders and go all the way up to 11 farmers again so we can get a completely full set of food. Just give us a massive sense of security. I mean, the only people that have starved to death recently have been because of dumb pathfinding. But uh, things can still go badly very quickly, and you never know when you can hit a blight, so it's good to have extra food sitting around. Actually, I will remove all the resources that are inside the city as well. Relatively short work, walk to do that, so it's nice that it engages. And again, some of the trees will fill up these empty areas again, so it certainly pays to deforest the area right next to your city. Um, but on the other hand, uh, rocks don't, so eventually you lose that benefit. Still, it's, uh, this video has gone on way too long. We're going to put a cut in here. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.